Happy Thursday, April 30th. Welcome to another exciting episode of Rate Desk. I am your host, Michael Thomas, here to talk about multifamily interest rates, among other things. Today, the markets are down a little bit. Um, they are trading a little bit lower in the major indices. The US Treasury yields are up a little bit. So they're trading about the 0.64 range today. That is 64 basis points. And we move over to the, to the FHA rates. We're seeing the 223F uh, back up a little bit, trading closer to the 260 of the mid range. Still very low, but fixed for 35 years. 221D4. Uh, up to about 325, 3.25 mid-range today. That's on 40-year fixed rate money. Still seeing the Fannie Mae dust at the 320 range. Uh, I talked to a developer today as well who's seen it up to 350 on some of his affordable uh, transactions, which are fixed for longer periods of time. Affordable transactions are fixed for 16 years instead of 10. So those rates are closer to 350 is what he was seeing. Um, Freddie Mac is still at the 340, that is 3.5. Four zero range. That's for your standard market rate transaction. And what I want to talk about today are value add transactions. The reason I want to bring this up is I spoke specifically with a developer today, works for one of the largest development companies in the entire Southeast. They do a ton of market rate, a ton of affordable, very, very experienced. And he is seeing an opportunity in value add. Clearly properties are going to be hit by the economic turn that we're facing, you know, with loss of employment and this temporary reduction of employment. And, you know, we're seeing in certain markets and certain properties, you'll see some vacancies, collection losses go up, right? But that does create an opportunity for other investors to come in, purchase properties and just kind of hang in there if they're capitalized enough. And those rents are going to go back up. For example, if you're in an emerging market that is on a growth trajectory, it's likely that your rents are still going up. I have a client right now and that's the story. Their rents are still going up and we can track that. And if you're using a HUD FHA loan, you can actually forecast those rents and with the HUD approved appraisal and the HUD underwriter then approving that valuation, you can trend towards that higher value. That's a really great thing and it's incredibly unique to HUD FHA insured transactions. You cannot do that with bank debt. You cannot do that with life company debt. You can't do that with any other kind of debt. So that's a big market opportunity currently. Secondly, I just want to say again, affordable housing. We know there's a need. There's been a need for a long time. There's not enough units. We need to build more units. I think this uh, downturn is another chance for us to really focus on how do we build more of these affordable housing units. These units are critical to our nation. They're critical globally, but here in the United States, we have such a shortage of rental housing units to begin with. And then you add to that, not everybody can afford what's out there and it's just a big number. So I encourage uh, investors, developers to look into the affordable uh, housing arena. It is complicated. But if you get the right people on your team, you can sift through to get to the transaction. And once you do your first affordable housing transaction, you're going to be able to do the next one so much easier. So I encourage folks to focus on two things right now, value add investing and also affordable housing, big opportunity there. That's all for today. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. It's been Michael Thomas at Rate Desk.